Good afternoon, my Dolly friends. It is Gina. Welcome back to Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. Today in front of you, I have my handsome Nicholas Parker. Nicholas Parker is the Bonnie Brown sculpt by or is the Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown. So Nicholas is the Levi by Bonnie Brown. I said that wrong. Anyway, guys, today I am going to, we are going to have a little change and a little chat. And I thought while we talked, you could look at my handsome, sweet boy. So I am going to be changing him out of his blue and white little romper this is what i keep him in when he is not starring on youtube and he's just a little sweetie and of course his belly is full from his bottle and his He's just an excellent, excellent sleeper. Oops, you slipped down a little, buddy. Let's give it your back up. That's my boy. All right. Mommy's going to get you changed. Let's check your diaper. Oh, it's fine. Your diaper's fine. Yes, it is, sweet baby. Yes, it is. So how is everyone doing? I'm going to put him in this little child of mine newborn dinosaur outfit it's a white background and on it we have teal like little tyrannosaurus rex we have little gray stegosauruses and in then a dark gray and then in a very pale gray it looks like a little barontosaurus so anyway we've got these dinosaurs and kind of around the edging of the collar. This has a little sort of teal, teal stitching and the same around the legs at the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna put that on him and then I have these little gray shorts from Gray Animals that are also newborn that I'm gonna pair with that and make our own little outfit. Huh, buddy? Huh, at one time, what did mommy try to do? Mommy, we have to be very careful going over your head because I don't want to mess your hair. There we go. There we go. Because Mommy tried to match the teal, and she never did get that right, did she? No, she didn't. Not in pants, not in shorts, not in anything. So then Mommy said, hey, there's gray. Why don't we go with gray? And that's what we did. And look what happened. You have a whole new darling little outfit. Yes, you do. So guys, how have you been? Um, my, my morning and early afternoon and that was quite busy. I got home just about 30 minutes ago. And uh, I had been at my mom and dad's. Dad had his physical therapy for his knees, and uh, somebody needed to go and stay with Mom. So I went, and I tell you what, it's really different, because I for, for my new subscribers, what I do for a living is I am a caregiver or some people would call me a home health aide and no I am not a nurse I do not have a LPN or an RN or anything like that but I am able to go into people's homes and make sure they take their medication make sure look at you Nicholas you look darling make sure that they have eaten um if they have a doctor's appointment, I can take them to their doctor. 
um, if they need groceries, I can grocery shop for them. If they need a lot of, lot of laundry done, I can do that. Um, so I just kind of step in and take over and help the elderly because the hopes is we want to keep them out of a nursing home. So that is what I do for a living. And um, today I was over at my mom's doing that. And of course I prepared her lunch and um, she is blind from being a type one or a, they used to call it a juvenile diabetic. She became a diabetic at 17 and was automatically, her pancreas produced zero insulin. So she had to go on insulin shots immediately. And um, eventually diabetes will wreak havoc on your body. And my mother is 81 and she's had a lot of havoc happen to her body. And one of them was the loss of sight from being a diabetic. So, and her heart attack was also caused by being a diabetic um, because my mother exercised regularly, ate extremely healthy. I, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, and she has a myriad of other health problems, which I'm not gonna get into. But I was there today to take care of her. And I tell you what, it's way different when you're caring for your parent rather than, and I'm sure those of you who care for your parents now or who have been there and done that, um, understand what I'm saying because it's difficult when it's your parent going through it. And it's difficult that her memory, that she has some form of dementia, uh, whether it's actually Alzheimer's or some other type, I don't really know, but she has a hard time and she wants to start conversations and she can't and she'll say I wanted to tell you something and you'll hear that 20 to 30 times and she'll repeat the same questions and then today she was talking about personal things that had happened to her in her childhood which her childhood was not a happy one and she was getting some things mixed up because I've known about this most of my adult life. Um, you know, but the, it, it was just hard. It's hard seeing her frail. It's, it's hard seeing her frightened. It's hard seeing her being so confused. Um, and I'll get through it. And I know that this is her illness. And even if she forgets my name and doesn't remember that I'm her daughter, the one thing that doesn't change is she knows, I know I'm loved and I know I was cared about. It's the illness that takes over, it's not her. But it's just hard to see, it, that's all, that's all. I just needed to kind of vent a little and just say, it's just hard to see. But, on the, at the same time, I'm thankful that, sh that she's still here and that I'm able to provide some sort of help for her and for Dad. And I'm hoping um, in a few more weeks, Dad's knee will be better. So anyway, I think that my Nicholas here looks absolutely incredibly handsome in his little dinosaur onesie and the gray shorts. And he's just sleeping so peacefully. And this sculpt is just so gorgeous i just love it and i love his little tiny feet and bonnie brown is my favorite sculptor um i don't know she has a ton of sculpts um if i had money and money was no object i would probably have as many bonnie brown sculpts as out there but the other problem is I have to have the finances to buy the reborn dollies. And the second problem is a lack of space. So 
I am just enjoying what I have and I'm thankful that I have what I do have. And um, yeah, Levi, Levi here is one of my most favorites. Now, I also want to reveal someone to you that you have never seen before that I have had for approximately a month. So I'm just going to move Nicholas over here to the side. We're just going to leave him there. And I want you to meet my little elf girl. Here she is. Let me make sure you're seeing her well. I think that you are. Yes. This is a little elf girl. You can see the little, little ears. Her little ears are very pointy. She's got the red hair. Beautiful blue eyes, little freckles across her cheeks and down her nose. She came in this little dress, little little pantaloons and cute little lacy socks. She's about a 10 or 11 inch doll. I don't think she's more than 12. Um, I think she's about an 11 inch doll. And of course she has the red hair and I fixed it and fooled with it and put it up in this little hairdo and kind of put the little curls down to the side. And I have really kind of had fun doing that because, and I've named her Pebbles. This is Pebbles and she is my very first elf doll. And I did, I did get her from Timu. So she is a Timu doll. I don't know if she's a sculpt of any other dolls to be honest with you but she was cute the price was right I wanted an elf doll very badly and I got her and I am absolutely thrilled with her and she is I mean she was rooted um and she's she's paid and you know She's painted well for the price that I paid for her, and I'm quite pleased. So, this is Little Pebbles. And yes, I did get the name from Pebbles from the Flintstones, um, from their little girl, especially when I decided to put her hair up like that. Her hair was kind of wild child, and she does, does have a little ring of flowers that could go around her head, too, um, which I could I can put that on some other time, but for today... I simply wanted to introduce you to Pebbles, who's in her green and white little gingham checked dress, and she has lace on the front, and she's got a ruffled collar around her neck, and there's a little bit of lace on the bottom of her dress, and of course her socks are the white lace, and I just, anyway, I just love her, and I wanted you all to meet Pebbles. Can you say hi, Pebbles? Those are all your aunts and uncles out there. She's waving hello, guys. She's a little bit shy, and she really kind of wanted me to put these little her hair like that because she really doesn't like me showing her ears. But because this is her first time, she allowed me to show you her, her elf ears because sometimes... People have made fun of her, so she's been a little, she's a little shy about that, but she's very sweet, and, um, and very good, and tries to be very helpful. So, that's all I really have for you guys, except for, um, when you go to a seance, why do you always try to call up someone familiar? Because you need to summon you know. <laughs> I think I screwed up the punchline. <sighs> I think, wait a minute, let's try that joke again. I'm still, I think the joke actually goes... I'm trying, this is from memory, guys. I think it actually goes. When you go to a seance, why do you always call up 
familiar people. Because it's someone you know. That's it. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Remember that no matter what you're going through, God loves you and he's always there for you. And thank you, friends, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.